Good afternoon, guys. Uh, Rick here. Wednesday, August the 30th. Getting things done. So far, I've already got, it looks like, five completed this morning. We're at 11.35. I'm on number five right now. I was just about to weld these two spring hooks on. This Punisher series. Uh, once I finish welding these two spring hooks on, then I'll move on to the next next exhaust. This one will be complete. I've got one of these that are polished that needs to go out today. Uh, the other four that are laying here on the ground, a Punisher and Echo and two Predator series, all are gonna be black ceramic coated. Uh, I have qu quite a bit of other work on the floor over there. Now, starting out this week, Monday, I shipped out around 20 exhaust. Tuesday, I shipped out around six exhaust. We're at 26. I'm going to try to get at least two or three out today. You know, uh, by the end of this week, I'm going to have kicked out 30 units, at least 30 units. So, and this is my daily grind. I try to put out, well, I try to put out somewhere around 20 a week. When I can exceed that, I feel like I've really done something. So, uh, 20 to 30 a week is my average. This week, we're gonna make that 30, I believe. Uh, because we had some polished units and polished, you know, I can I can build them quicker and I can get them out of here a little bit faster. So, like, like this polished one that's in the in the vise right here, um, you know, I gotta do a little bitty bit of polishing on it and then boom, in a box it goes and, and off to its, uh, its customer. So, whew. what I'm doing currently today, I'm trying to think about what that next venture is, okay? Now, I've been considering buying a slingshot and doing slingshot exhaust. Now, I'm gonna give you the slingshot review without even having a slingshot or taking part in the slingshot community or doing anything with it, and I'm still gonna give you my opinion on what someone else told me, okay? Now, I called the dealership and I talked to the salesman, and, and he, I asked him a couple questions. I said, look, I'm looking at maybe starting a business, renting one of these, and then maybe purchasing a second one, actually starting a rental company, and even renting my Riker as well, and maybe buying a Spider as well, and having like a three-wheel rental company. You know, you have to have a motorcycle license to ride the three-wheelers, uh, and you can, anybody can drive the slingshots. And he said, you know, your exhaust idea is good, but I wouldn't rent these things. He says, I wouldn't even buy a new one. And, and he didn't tell me this until later, but let me go on and back up a little bit, okay? What he did was say was, what I did say was, hey, how many of these have you sold this year? And, you know, just, I need to know how big my consumer base is. How many people are gonna be looking for exhaust for a slingshot? And he goes, look, man, I've been, this, I've been the general manager at this store for six months. We haven't sold any. Matter of fact, we have four right here right now. Two of them are broke down. They're brand new. They don't, one of them has six miles, the other one has like 15 miles, and both of them have charging problems. The alternators are not working properly. So, wow, two out of four, that's a 50%, 50% chance you're gonna get a lemon right off the get-go, you know? Uh, he says, we're waiting on the alternators to come in where we can get these things ready to sell. And uh, he said, you know, I've been here six months, hadn't sold none of these. Uh, so, not a big customer base there for you. He said, what, what you, you know, in the rental world, you can rent them, but this is the problem. They're breaking down. If you buy them, these right here, you know, what if you get the two that are broken, you know, and you put those in your fleet and then they break down again and again. He says, you're not making no money. You know, you're not making money if you have units that are broken down. He said, the 2023, uh, anything since the, ever since the crap hit the fan, you know, a couple years back. Um, he says anything after that, mm -mm, questionable. He said I wouldn't invest in it at all. And this is a general manager. And I'm like, I wonder why this guy ain't sold nothing this year. Uh, because, because he's honest probably. <laughs> One of the only honest salesmen I've ever met. You know, he was like, look man, you're trying to take a little bit of your money and invest it in something to make more money and you're trying to come on up. He says, this is not the way. He says, I wanna sell you one of these. He says, but, you know, it's not a good investment for a gentleman trying to start a company and make money. 
He said, these things are gonna cost you money, lots of it. That one will cost you $30,000. That one will cost you $34,000. And you know, and that one over there is almost $40,000. So he said, these are more of a flex thing. So people wanna buy them where they can show them off. Like, look at me, look at me. I got a three wheel car. You know, and the more I think about it, yeah, that's right. So uh, this year, in the last couple of years, people are, haven't been consuming these things like maybe they did back in 15 when they came out, or 16, you know, when they were fresh, you know. Um, so we're not messing with the slingshots. We've decided, you know, as much as I wanted to be really loud sport bikes, really loud spotters, and then really loud slingshots, we're never going to make it to the really loud slingshots. I just don't see it happening as much as I'd like to see it happen. Uh, economically, it's not a good investment. And this is coming from a general manager of a store who says we don't sell these things, so there's not going to be people buying exhaust form, nor, you know, are you going to be able to keep them running to have a rental company because they're just not, you know, if you put miles on them, they're going to break down. That was his, him telling me. So we're out of the slingshot thing, thoughts. We're, we're not doing that. I've totally decided, you know, that's not going to be the avenue that we're going to travel down. So... What do y'all suggest? Any suggestions? You know, uh, I've learned that a guy with a little bit of money can take that little bit of money and invest it in something that costs a little less than the money that he has, and he can take that money and make that money into more money. Uh, for me, for example, I buy these components. I sweat like unbelievably in the un <laughs> un horrible heat out here, and I turn those pieces into something, and I sell it for more money. There's a lot more work involved in this than I really want to do, just so you know. I mean, I, I'm just as lazy as everybody else in this world. I just, I'm motivated because I have a family and I want them to have the best life that they can have, better than I have. I want to give them things that my father could have never given me because he just didn't have the abilities to. Uh, so, that being said, I'd also like to leave them with something, you know. Um, right now, the world's just taking away everything from everybody, you know. Um, so, it's a tough world. So if you have ideas, you know, you can personal message me, email me, whatever, you know, about a business idea. I'm so open to trying to do something new and different. Uh, do I have a lot of money? No, but, uh, but I have some motivation, some drive, and, and I can figure out where that money comes from if I'm interested in the idea, you know. So if you have an idea, you're like, hey man, this is, this is the next thing, Rick. This is where, if you'll just put all that energy in it, it'll pay, it'll take care of you and your family. If you know what that is, I have no idea. Uh, I, I, I thought about Sutton Solar because solar has definitely been hitting hard for a while now. Um, I've talked to a company out of China, but I don't want to deal with no Chinese companies anymore, really. I mean, I don't want to purchase any components from them. I mean, I do right now. But if we want to make America stronger, better country we can't depend on people next door to make us stronger and better we have to do it on our own and and be our own country or we have to be taken over by them because that's what's going to happen if you go if you go letting them help too much the next thing you know they have totally taken control of everything and you don't even have you know for example if they cut off my supply tomorrow on materials there's no wireless exhaust because I have no company here in the United States that can build these components to my specifications and, and at a reasonable price where there's a profit margin for me. So um, I'm really looking for things that I can work with companies that are U.S. bound companies like a U.S. solar company maybe. But that was just an idea. You know, um, I'm looking for ideas because, uh, you know, I've got ideas. But they're not all good ideas. Most of them are bad ideas. And, and I've tried a lot of my bad ideas, and guess what? They were bad ideas, and I found out the hard way. So, um, looking for good ideas. Uh, you just want to help me out with a good idea? I'll help you out. Don't buy a slingshot because it can end up horribly for you, says the sales manager of said dealership. <laughs> so, we're looking for ideas. Um, hey, y'all. Have a blessed day. And uh, I hope everything that, that, that goes on for you today is good. You know, I, I just I just hope great things for all of y'all. All right. So uh, if you're riding, ride safe. If you're shopping, bust out the old credit card and go over to rlsexhaust.com and just buy something for a friend. 
<laughs> Y'all have a great day. And um, hey, treat others like you want to be treated. That's the message for the day. All right, it should be the message for every single day. You know, it really should. And and, and but anyway, y'all have a good one.